What's up guys, my name is Brandon and it's been a while since I've released an iOS 10 jailbreak update video, but today I'm going to be recording one and bringing you guys some very important information regarding the iOS 10 jailbreak and some solo hackers who allegedly jailbroke iOS 10.1. Allegedly is the key word. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but this is jailbreak update number seven. And I do want to mention that this will not be the same stuff over and over again. The same stuff I've talked about in the past six videos. This is going to be new information, just like all of my updates. There's always something new. I don't just make an update just to make an update. There's always something new that I'll be talking about. So make sure to watch this video all the way through to the end. And before we get into this, I do want to mention that my pin tweet on my profile on Twitter is going to be able to tell you daily on a daily basis if iOS 10 can be jailbroken or not. So be sure to go ahead and follow me over there on Twitter. That link is down below in the description. All right, so first of all, there have been two solo iOS hackers in the past two or three weeks that have shown proof of a jailbreak working on iOS 10 and 10.1. They've shown proof via video, screen shares, images, and even talked about the jailbreak in depth. And now this isn't anything new because as you know, Pengu has jailbroken iOS 10 months ago and they can obviously jailbreak iOS 10.1, 10.2, 10.2 beta 2, whatever it is, they can jailbreak it. So this isn't anything new, but a lot of people have been talking about it. So I do want to make a video touching on this subject. Now I'm not gonna mention these hackers names, their Twitter handles or any of the screenshots or videos they posted because this stuff can be easily faked and we've seen it time and time again over the past 10 years. But what is interesting is that one of the hackers said that they are going to release the iOS 10 jailbreak very soon. Now this same hacker mentions that the iOS 10 jailbreak that he has is semi-tethered just like the iOS 9.3.3 Pengu jailbreak and he also mentions that it only works on 64-bit devices. And this same hacker allegedly found an iOS 9.3.4 untethered jailbreak and said it was easier than he expected. So could this guy actually be legit? Eh, I guess you could say sure, he could be legit, but is he most likely doing this just to get some followers and to get his name out there and he's never actually intending on releasing this jailbreak to the public? Most likely, probably a 95 to 99% chance that that's what he's doing. You see, individuals don't usually release jailbreaks to the public because they put in hundreds, sometimes thousands of hours of work into finding this exploit, taking all the code, you know, dissecting it and finding this exploit and releasing a jailbreak tool for the public only to be making pennies on the dollar through donations or something like that. So that's why individuals usually never release jailbreaks because they don't have a way of really monetizing it. For all those hours they put in, they wanna be you know, confiscated, they wanna be paid for that effort that they put in and they can't really do that. They just release a jailbreak by themselves and you know, I mean, sure they can beg for donations and things like that, but they will not make near what they want to be making. With that being said, this isn't a remote or even an untethered jailbreak. So that means that he cannot sell this to some private security firm or to Apple because it's not on their bounty list. So he can't sell it to them and make millions. So his options are limited, which is a good thing for us and the public. Now, if he actually does release a jailbreak tool, which I highly, highly doubt I would be very skeptical before I download it. I would actually make sure, I would maybe even wait a week or a month to make sure that this is actually a legit safe jailbreak and that it doesn't inject some kind of malicious software or some kind of malicious adware or something like that into your device. I would wait for a confirmed, a trusted source in the community to confirm that this is the real deal. And again, I really don't think this is gonna happen, but I do just wanna mention it just in case. So the bottom line is really this. Do not believe anything you see on Twitter, on Reddit, on YouTube, no matter where you search for new jailbreaks, do not trust anything you see. The iOS 10 jailbreak will likely be coming from Pengu and it will likely be released within the next month or two. Now the release date, which of course we don't know since Pengu is such a private company and doesn't actually reveal anything, the release date for the iOS 10 jailbreak actually could have been pushed back due to the insane rate that Apple is actually pushing through these firmwares. We're, going, we're getting iOS 10.2 very soon after just getting 10.1. It's just going at a rapid pace right now. So that could have easily pushed back the jailbreak. We don't know. It's just all up to Pengu right now. We have no clue. It's just going to release when it releases. As I always say, you will hear from me first when the jailbreak drops. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you have, you click that little bell icon right there next to the subscribe button. Make sure you are getting my notifications when I upload a video so you do not miss it. I, I'm telling you, I will be one of the very first ones, if not the very first one on YouTube telling you that an iOS 10 jailbreak is out and showing you how to do it. Now, if you are currently jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3, definitely stay there. I've gotten this question a lot and I really thought it was common sense, but I'm not trying to bash anybody. I'm just saying that if you're on 9.3.3 and if you're jailbroken right now, stay jailbroken. And personally, I would actually stay on 9.3.3 for at least a few weeks, even a month, just until all of the tweaks and themes have support for iOS 10 because all the developers aren't gonna be immediately you know, rushing to update their tweaks 
for iOS 10 compatibility. You know, most of them are, but some of them will not. So I would just wait for everything to be compatible with iOS 10. And if you are on iOS 10 or 10.1.1, I'd just stay put where you are. I wouldn't update to 10.2. I would just stay put where you are on the lowest firmware and just wait until we see what firmwares are supported with the Pangu iOS 10 jailbreak. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to touch on these solo hackers claiming to jailbreak iOS 10, claiming to be releasing an iOS 10 jailbreak tool. I wouldn't trust it. I definitely would not get my hopes up. So this is just an update video. Again, this is number seven in the series. Make sure you guys subscribe for number eight, number nine, number 10, however many I end up making. I'll most likely be making one next week. But again, I'm not gonna make update videos just to make update videos. I'm gonna make sure there's something actually new to talk about when I make an update video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for more of those update videos and also to be notified when the iOS 10 jailbreak releases officially from Pangu most likely. And thanks again for watching guys and I will see you soon.